How's the punch? You. That's what you gotta check. The, <laughs> the yeah, just that. that yeah, that's what that you gotta one. do. That's that's the mark of an expensive bottle. Maybe in bottle. Melbourne, bro. Uh, <laughs> Essentially, yeah, so then it's, right. like, it's basically targeted at like white girls who want seltzers. But oh, that is. Nice. That's that's nice. nice. <laughs> cool. Welcome back. We're doing more blind wine with more comedians. This time, we've actually got two for the price of one. These boys are se separated at the hip at birth, but like still don't leave each other alone yeah, very much. Pretty much. Uh, we've got Ethan and Sweeney here. Would you like to introduce yourself, boys? Hi, I'm Ethan Kavanagh. I'm Sweeney Preston. And together, we're Ethan Kavanagh and Sweeney Preston. <laughs> 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 Uh, I met I met Ethan the other night at a open or not an open mic that sounds like anyone could get up at like a best of fringe night. Sort I was of thing. allowed to be there. Someone asked me. Yeah, I got yeah. paid. Yeah. It was all very legitimate. You got paid for that? Yeah. Ooh. And I was in the front row screaming like a white girl, and everything from there has just been great. Yeah, um, I was like, he's one of ours. He's, yeah, he's, one of ours. <laughs> he's presenting as something else, but this yeah. is what I am. Ethan was like, that is our demographic. Yeah. Right, <laughs> so, boys, have you seen the show before? I have seen the show before. Oh, we watched this episode. Yeah, and I'm. Absolutely gutted that the coffee pint is gone, frankly. Oh, look, I'm sorry. <laughs> we are from Melbourne, so like, the French press is something you'd be familiar with. Yeah, exactly. With. Yeah, we, we do expect to have about the same level of success as they did on the first episode, guessing these wines, but I don't know, anything could happen. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I am fully back. <laughs> this is the attitude I'm looking for yeah, here because I... you're going to look silly as fuck. No, I... <laughs> I will give you a hint. All of these wines are Cab Sab because I spoke to you before. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you! So don't have to guess the variety. There's the variety for you. There you go. But uh, we've got a bottle that is five dollars. We've got a bottle that is thirty dollars, and then we have a bottle that is one hundred and five dollars. My mm. goodness, man! Your job today: identify that and become the kings of wine tasting. Oh, beautiful, huge. Don't touch it. Not yet. We you might fit there. both hands in there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> <We're> <laughs> fine. Yeah. I'm going to leave this up to you. Where do you want to start? Do you want to go jug, Bubba Gum, shrimp, or spicy boy from Brooklyn? Oh, I reckon let's just go the order you just picked. Then I reckon jug. Jug first. So, what do you boys know about wine? Uh, I like to think I'm a bit of an expert. Bit of a guru? Once upon a time, I definitely thought I knew heaps, heaps about Sweeney? wine. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> and uh, I actually got in with like a bit of a wine crowd for a while. They had a bunch of mates working in like wine bars and bottle shops and stuff like that. And um, I went to, I got invited to like this super fancy wine dinner party. Thank you so much. No worries. I brought a bottle, it was like everyone brings a bottle. So I brought yep. a bottle of, um, it was 2017 of Passamento de Conti. It was a very nice drop. It was a lovely bottle of wine. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. I'm the idiot. Anyway, wine man. That's actually the $105 bottle. Yeah. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> and there it is. So no, no. And I, so I took it. It was a hit. Everyone loved the wine. But I spent the whole night talking about how, like bragging basically about how Passamento was my favorite region. Mm in Italy. Um, mm. And even you know that a Passamento <laughs> is not a region in Italy or anywhere because no. it's not a region. It's a way to make wine. Yeah, that's... But I've not <laughs> since been invited back to the wine party. It's just like saying that my favourite region is like the crush it with my feet region in France. That's like, exactly. yeah, pretty, much, pretty much. Love that. All right, what do you think? Colour-wise, nose-wise, taste-wise, let's go. It's red. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> you do know your Passamento. It's something we can agree on. It's, uh, I'd say, licorice in there. I'm not going to say you're wrong. But yeah, it tastes like red wine. Oh, good. tannins. Tannins, tannins, tannins. Tannins, tannins, tannins. Just writing some notes. That's so that definitely been this. fermented. <laughs> Is this from... Passamento? Uh, <laughs> it could be, it could very well be. Man, I reckon this is going to be a really tough one because I'm so bad at tasting red wine. But you guys are obviously gurus. It's not, it's not bad. I don't think it's like the best drop I've ever had. It's got I really to, hope it's not the $105 one. I think it's good. I like I it. I don't mind it, yeah. I don't, it doesn't taste cheap, that's for sure. It, mm. With uh, depth, I believe. So we're going word. depth, not cheap off the bat. Mm. It's just sort of like you pull the... But it's also very hard to, off the first one, go like, that's definitely mm. a cheap yeah. one. Because you need to taste them in like relation to others. Especially it does have a bit of a, a dry kind of aftertaste. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's good with burn. Like a sand pit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Let the wank begin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you said you were from Melbourne. Yeah. I did, yeah. We are... <laughs> You yeah, honestly, we actually don't like to tell people that we've uh, <laughs> assimilated really well here. Yeah, yeah, like, like we walk into rooms.
rooms and really t we tell people we're from Melbourne and they are not shocked yeah. at all ever. Um, I'm not gonna lie, you walking into a room is you telling people that you're from Melbourne. Like, yeah, you much, yeah. understand. It's the like, subtext yeah. of the subtext of any conversation we yeah. have, really. Yeah. Like we are the embodiment of a soy latte. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we're from Melbourne and how can we get back? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a fine city, I like it here, I do. Oh uh, no, it's quite nice. All right, cool. Neck that. Or don't. We've got a spittoon here if you don't want to scale things. We've just got oh, to show you. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. I mean, would you go middle? I'm leaning middle. Leaning I'm middle. middle as well. Middle leaning. So am I politically. Mm, yeah. <laughs> State election coming up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Marshall, look yeah. at you. Uh, either leader, if you're looking to buy my vote, I'm very open for business. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Alright, so yeah. now we're going to the Bubba Gump Shrimp Co. plastic cup that I didn't find in an op shop that this is gonna week. That's going to be a night, man. No, nah, nah, I'm, I'm actually a professional oh, bartender. So. Get that away from my suit. Yeah, that's a really good point. I don't want to <laughs> do that anywhere near. I have a very complicated relationship yeah. with wine, because obviously we dress like this, and I absolutely love red. Red till I'm dead, right? That's my motto. Red till I'm dead. And on probably why I'll be dead as well, but... Uh, <laughs> But like I, I like it. It doesn't go well the red wine and the suits. Generally speaking, not a great. But like for example, I, my twenty first, I wore a bright white tux to my twenty first, and of course you did. And, <laughs> no, course again, you did. no one shot. <laughs> no one. No shot one came. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but like the and I decided to be like way too off brand to not wear and not drink red wine the mm. whole night. And mm. by the end of the night, I fully looked like a stab victim. Just like big <laughs> splotches of red, like painted the whole suit. And I don't know if you've ever been yelled at by a dry cleaner. No, <laughs> no. The next day I took it in to get bleach and he did not care that I was like trying to keep his lights on and give him business. He was so disappointed that I could not look after this suit. I had covered it in red wine. Uh, this might surprise you. I don't know what the inside of a dry cleaner looks like. <laughs> <laughs> that could shock you, but yeah, this is all done at home. Because um, I was at that 21st, right? But I came later in the night, and I literally, I complimented Ethan on his red shirt. <laughs> with no idea how the red had gotten it's there. It's a really interesting floral pattern. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, it's very wow. Melbourne. It was very Melbourne. This looks plump to me. Oh, that's... You're in the industry, aren't you? Look at you go. Yes, I do, actually. Thank you. Um, it doesn't smell as plump as I thought it was going to, but just like the colour on it, it's just so like vibrantly red, I think. Yeah. Anyway, you're doing the tasting. So you're just murmuring, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I can yeah. care. Yeah. yeah. That's funny, because I actually, I've been to Adelaide before, right? I came at the start of last year, and when I was here with my friends, we did one of those like four in one Barossa like tours, like the hop on, hop off sort of thing. Yeah. And but the thing was, we did it on a nearly 40 degree day. Mm. Um, nah, not the time to be doing it. And I don't know what you, if you've ever had a room temperature wine when that room's temperature is 37 degrees, <laughs> but it just doesn't hit the spot yeah. the same way. Like we were, so at the end of the trip, right? Because if you've ever done one of those, you do like a hundred different samples like mm. in the one day. You so many. By the end of that trip, when people were like at the last, do you have binary, to? Was that a, was that it's, a it's pretty choice? Much. Like no, I'll take hundred. I'll do we, that. We took like a little bit of a team sentiment. We're like, we're gonna do at least a century. Turn <laughs> <laughs> up. Uh, we like sport. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sporting reference for the jocks. No. <laughs> Just trying to broaden your market here. We're, we're yeah. at the last winery, right? The one that people are like buying the take home bottles in, like a little souvenir sort of bottle. We was I was so sick of the wine by the end of the day, I literally walked out of the Wolf Glass Winery with a bottle of olive oil. And I don't know if you've ever had a big night on the olive oils, Henry. Not the same. Not <laughs> the same. Time. Time. Not but very smooth coming back up. You That's know, very smooth day. coming yeah, back up. Yeah. Goodness me, your skin would be marvellous. This is lighter, that objectively. If, if I didn't know these were all cab sats, I'd be like, ah, oh, Peter and what? I would say that as well. <laughs> yeah. It's almost got a little bit of funk it's, to it. I think it's got a bit of a more, bit more of a fruity mouth feel. Mm. What do you think about that? Yeah. I love a fruity mouth. I think it, I already made, made it with fruit. Mm. This one. There's a reasonable chance. You could be onto something there, Ethan. So you you thought that this uh, the jug was middle leaning. Yeah. You're going left mm. or right with it. Now we're going expensive or uh, <sighs> cheap with this one. Yeah. You can probably. change your first answer as well. Mm. Yeah, we're probably going to rejig the whole thing by the end. We probably will, but... yeah. Hey, on this channel, we're all about normalising, learning new information, and then changing your opinions. So just keep yeah. that in mind. State elections coming up. Or when we find <laughs> out how wrong we are, I will just double down and be like, you don't know shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done my own research. <laughs> <laughs> I've got an idea, but I want to steer. What are you boys thinking? I reckon it's cheaper. I just, yeah. I think it's I, yeah, I think I think we're gonna have to rejig it later. But let's for now go with the cheaper option. So well so in comparison to the first one, do you think it's cheaper than the first one? 
because then that's when you can start making some like if it's cheaper than that mm. then this is either the cheapest or the middlest and this one's going to be you know what i mean mm. i think this was slightly less enjoyable than the first one so i do for that reason i'll go cheaper high acidity cool. on this mm. one Good and note. Thanks. Yeah, Melvin, thanks. let's go. <laughs> it's Mr. Melvin. To Mr. Me. <laughs> Melvin to me, Sir Melvin. Um, slightly acidic, slightly cheap. Because I feel like for a cab sab as well, because, you know, famously I drink a lot of those, Henry. I have heard. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard <laughs> tell. Um, <laughs> but I feel like should, you'd want a bit more oomph from a, from a pricey cab sab. I, I, I tend to agree with you. Yeah. Mm. Mm. This leaves the spicy boy on the table. So this is, uh, we're in Brooklyn, the bar, so shout out Brooklyn for letting me use one of their empty bottles. That was really generous of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. Great. Cleanse there. Yeah, absolutely. This is great because it's not like having, you know, a glass of milk or something in between that like will make you feel super crook because it's still wine. Do you often do a glass of milk between wine tasting? <laughs> I never don't do a glass of milk between activities. That's why actually. you're such a big, strong boy. <laughs> I'm a growing boy. I'm a growing strong boy. Bones. Strong bones. Yeah. Strong bones. All right, wine number three, the spicy boy. Mm. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Finally, someone tells the truth on the show. <laughs> oh, that's a lot sweet up. Oh. Okay. That is sweet. Mm. That's really sweet. What do you think it's uh... I think it's just got a really high sugar content, I reckon. <laughs> I reckon they Hang on. haven't fermented <laughs> it enough. Lewis couldn't nail this, but I reckon we can. Yeah. I reckon it needs a bit more yeast. Yeah, slow legs on that one. Slow legs on that one. I, I, just <laughs> like you. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought you liked sport. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, don't look too closely at these glasses. You'll notice yeah. I'm bad at polishing. <laughs> Should we put it between the light? Yeah. yeah no, 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 it looks like yeah. <laughs> it's very good. Auntie's having a bit of a go at it with the lipstick. Yeah. 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 I, I agree. I don't. Think, I think it's a little bit sweeter, but like this is where everything gets thrown into chaos because like is mm. sweet expensive or is sweet cheap? <laughs> I feel like I'm about to make a full uneducated guess. I hope so. I feel like I feel like I'm almost. Drinking of fruit juice. Yeah. <laughs> like a supermarket store bought like 20% sugar fruit juice. Mm. Like a pop top situation. Mm. And this is one of those things. So I've done a lot of wine tastings where I don't know what's going on. And it's really confusing because sometimes when something tastes like fruit juice, it's cheap and fruit juicy, but sometimes it's like really well crafted French mm. Pinot Noir mm. from the Toit. I don't know, dick. Mm. Things. <laughs> they say things. Yeah, me. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. From the Aldi region. Yeah. From the Aldi region, <laughs> exactly. But currently we're sitting. Slightly more expensive than this one, and this one's TBD. Do we think, I think it does come down to do we think sweet is an expensive quality? Oh, I'm really stressed about it. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like VCE all over again. Um, sweet. <laughs> expensive, question mark? Yes. Yeah. I don't think so, though. I think, I don't know, maybe this is the end of our working partnership. Yeah, maybe the, things are all, gonna all come the best interviews here. are the ones where you just sit there and ponder in silence. That's that's the vibe we're In case they edit around this, we sat here for 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we can get some around. like letters and numbers, uh, thinking music. Yeah. Yeah. What would actually be really <laughs> fun is to have a clock in the background. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's just like hours. And you're <laughs> stitching our jokes together and yeah. it goes back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. You are allowed, I reckon you are allowed, because this is the first time we've ever had to Yeah, I was going to say, what do you make up rules on the spot, right? You're it's allowed like, to you... differentiate, and one of you could be the king of wine tastings. Ooh. Or you could both Just be like dances. how one of us is better at comedy. You That's know, true. Right? We always say in our shows that, uh, so Ethan's got about 20 minutes, I've got about 20 minutes of material, but um, I have to leave two minutes for audience laughter. Ethan, on the other hand. Full 20 minutes. Full 20 yeah. minutes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I don't care if they're laughing or not, I'll just motor through it. Uh, <laughs> Ethan, your guesses, please. Oh, shit, man. Um, okay, man. I think the first one is the is the Spenny one. Jug it's Spenny? The, it's the depth. It's the depth for me. Jug? Yeah, it was the the tannin, that's some that's some real I wanna say like you that takes a long time. At okay. a guess. Mm, okay. To get with again. At a guess. At uh, a guess. Then the sugar. I feel like sugar is it like I've had a lot of gossips in my time and that shit is yeah yeah dangerous. pretty sweaty. Mm. <laughs> I reckon this is the cheap one. So you reckon uh, that's the, so that makes Bubba Gump sh shrimp. So we put it in, or in order essentially. I think so. Again, yeah. is it the double Bubba? But then he wouldn't do that. Would yeah, but he, oh, he's yeah. a conniving. Oh. Um. So you think uh, expensive, yeah. medium, cheap? Yeah. Jug, Bubba, and spicy. Now, Sweeney. 
Do you have any alterations? I to that? actually am. I'm gonna go in a completely different order. I love it. I reckon the third one we tasted is most recent, Sweetie Boy. Yeah. I think that's the Spenny one. Love this from you. I love this is. from you, Sweeney. You're crazy, man. I, I don't know about it, man, because I'm just thinking in my head. I associate like nice sweet things with like cool desserts and stuff. They're a bit fancy. Mm. I don't know what it is. And no one can. No one. No desserts are like a treat. Yeah, mm. I mean, if you've seen this jacket, it's very well done. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> spicy is sweet. They're, uh, spicy is expensive, sorry. Yeah, okay, and then I reckon... This the... one? Yeah. Sorry, I... this the... sorry, this is the first time I... we've ever disagreed. I have no uh... horse in this race. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I really care. Yeah. It's really peanut gallery. Yeah. Here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, big time. Um, okay, and then I reckon, I reckon the first one we had, I, it was actually my favourite. Mm. Um, so I reckon that trying is... Trying to get a brand deal? What's yeah, that? I think we are, pretty much. Maybe. So I reckon the first one is the mid -run. Mid-range, yeah. so spicy, jug, and then bubba. And then the second one is the... Cheap boy. Cheap boy, that's it. Um, look, I've got no reason to say this, but I also think that's the cheap one. Um, we'll hey, find out. Now, um, country. which order yeah. would we like to... Let's go with uh, this one first. Pull the bottle out. What's in the jug lock? Lock. That is $115 a bottle, oh gentlemen. Oh my god. Fuck you. That's Ethan. more money than I've spent on anything. I'm gonna fly back to Melbourne and back for that. Don't yeah, have a little honestly, bit more of yeah, that. Now that, yeah, now that we know it's good, we'll sweet. Now that I can brag that. about it. <laughs> Come here. Come here, Come here baby. <laughs> god. Let's go with Bubba next, because if that is the medium range one, then we might be looking at our Man. king of wine. Yeah, I'm just gonna read a little no, bit. No, don't touch it yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Bubba Gump, what were we dealing with, Luck? Bubba Gump. <gasps> it's the mid range one. Yes! Oh, oh, he's no. done it! Sorry, uh, probably blew the levels on the mic. But yeah. <laughs> um, so, this is uh, Magella. Now, you watched episode one. And you, Wait, yeah. this is the Magella, the two This is the one that Lewis. The Magella, yeah, man. Lewis was like, oh, it was a 2015 2014 thing. Yeesh. This is a 2018 Magella. And Damn. Yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah. I, really, <laughs> really, honestly, could have differentiated between. If you'd put all Magellas on the table. Mm. I would have got them all wrong, he would have nailed it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ethan, I can't believe it. So, pull the cheap one out now. And the coronation of the king. Oh, it feels good. Really, I don't want to ruin I'll, the hair. No, this I'll let you ruin well the hair. Done. Thank oh, you. Oh, I, anyway, let's go do the show. Like, <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm so sorry in advance to any people coming to our show tonight who mm. thought they would get a semi cohesive script. Nah, man. Absolutely oh, not. Man. This um, show is going to be interesting. People pay good money for two sober comedians and we're not going to be able to deliver, deliver on this. Give us, give us until our run starts in Melbourne and we might have sobered up by mm. then. So like obviously, oh, obviously you guys um, from Melbourne. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you noticed, yeah. alright. <laughs> are there any, like where do you get your, where do you get your vino from if you're over in Melbourne? Well, we're gonna be there soon. we have a little special joint that we actually both go to yeah, now. Um, it's called Rewind uh, in Melbourne. It's kind of like Rewind but without the D. Very clever. Mm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the whole like thing is that like they bottle the wine in the shop for you. So you get like a bottle, you treat it like a keep cup, you bring it back and forth, they re they pour it straight in. That's so it Melbourne. That's, it's, oh my that's God. That is great. It's it's disgusting. Disgusting. Melbourne does Melbourne. good things. <laughs> <laughs> the environment, the wine's cheaper, the wine's really good. Yeah. But Care for the planet, yappa, yappa, yappa. But that's not the main reason <laughs> we go there. That's not the main reason we go there, to be honest. The main reason we go there is because they have a loyalty program yeah. and they've called it Frequent Fillers. That's so Which is fun. honestly better than any joke we've ever written. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's where I fell in love with comedy, to be honest, is in the wine shop. Yeah. Uh, okay. we, we didn't even know this right, but uh, to recycle a bottle of wine from Melbourne, it actually has to come to South Australia. Like a wine ball has to be driven to South Australia, so it kind of just like negates the purpose of it. Yeah. It's like, why yeah. would you do it? So well, that is how we got here this you week. Just hit the, hit yeah, the we, we just jumped in the yellow bins and they picked us up <laughs> and they brought it. We even got our 10 cents when we got at the depot. We were <laughs> That's, that we've made more money on those yeah. refunds than we have on our entire ticket prices. Yeah. So. Good things for your show, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, on to the plug for us. Yeah, so oh, yeah. do, do you have any shows coming? We do. we do, so we're doing the Melbourne Comedy Festival, we've got two shows this year, it all kicks off, we're doing the full four weeks at Melbourne Comedy Fest, we've got two different shows, first date's the 30th of March. Yeah, so that show is a show called Presentation is Everything, and we're doing the whole show, it's all PowerPoint, stand-up, comedy, hence presentation, oh, but also that. we yeah. like to present well, so a little bit of a double entendre, oh, yeah, a lot of fans of a double thinker. entendre, it's a thinker. Yeah. we're a thinker, uh, so it's an hour of power, brackets, point comedy, Yeah, uh, <laughs> which we spent seven hours brainstorming, yeah we did, took a whole day of work on that one, and then um, you're like frequent fillers, they came up with that <laughs> instead, <Yeah. laughs> oh, this is just us trying to reach that oh, level yeah. of comedy, That's and then good. we're also doing a late night show on Saturdays and Fridays as well, in 
not that order, um, at 10 o'clock and it's like, it's called the Late Night PowerPoint Comedy Showcase and it's us hosting a late night with a bunch of lineup of great comedians coming and doing PowerPoint comedy as well. That's so, so good. It's gonna be so lit. No, I really appreciate it boys and thanks. thanks Thank you so much. Cheers. Bye.